Today we're going to start talking about farming. Today is Tuesday, March the 18th, 2013, 14. Let me get the year right, boy, am I behind. But that's okay, we'll catch up later. Yeah, we're going to talk about farming today. But first of all, don't forget Bible study today at 11 to 12 o'clock in the, auto, in the fellowship hall here at Timberlake Baptist Church. And then tonight at 6.30, visitation, going out knocking on doors. So let's be faithful to the work of the Lord. All right, we're talking about Proverbs chapter 12, verse 10, and talking about farming. And farming and agriculture is an occupation and a trade that is as old as mankind itself. But Genesis chapter uh, number 3, verse 17 says, And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it, cursed is the ground for thy sake, and in sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat of the herb of the field, and in the sweat of thy face, and, and eat bread, till thou return to the ground. For out of it thou wast taken, and for dust thou art, and dust thou shalt return. The terminology in this passage is that of farming and livestock to help people better understand the principles God wants them to follow and to be the best servant of God they can. So God tries to make it simple and put it on a level that you can understand. And very clearly here, uh, the greatest servants of God throughout the Bible have been just everyday common people. That is the group God's trying to reach with the word of God, is the everyday common person who will just love him, trust him, and be by his side. The wealthy, the powerful, the popular, they too can serve the Lord, but their status does more to hinder them from rising to the occasion of opportunity as that God's given them, then helps them. It holds them back. The everyday person, nothing holds them back from doing all they can do for God and being all they can be. So if you're out there and you say, well, I'm just an everyday Joe, thank God for that. You have a greater opportunity. There's nothing to hold you back. Everyday people are more available, they're more reachable, and they're more teachable than anybody else. They have no agenda, no set purpose in life. Nobody's starting to direct them. God can have full control and full direction. So today, when you stop and think about, I'm just an everyday Joe, don't let that bother you. That's a blessing from God Almighty. Nobody else is pushing you. Nobody else is directing you. Nobody else is holding you back. You're just what God needs, somebody he can take and mold and use. Remember that today, and it will be your strength for today and your hope for tomorrow.